Hey, what's up, UMC BTY Nation? This is Coach Bobby. It's Friday night, uh, December 28th. Going to do a quick check-in with you guys. Um, long week, crazy week with Christmas and New Year's coming up. Uh, I forgot what day it was, actually. Uh, so, uh, got my last class tomorrow, uh, last boot camp class tomorrow of 2018. Last workout, last chance to get better. Uh, but want to check in with you guys really quick uh, on a few ideas, few thoughts that I had. Uh, actually, this one dawned upon me uh, yesterday at my one of my corporate accounts, and I was driving driving in, got there a little bit early, and realized how quickly um, the mood or the uh, scenery had changed from from Wednesday, from uh, Christmas Eve Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Christmas Eve, Monday, Christmas, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday was still kind of dead. By Thursday, everybody was back uh, in full throttle at work. And it dawned upon me that many, many people uh, utilize the holidays or a vacation, uh, but let's take the holidays as an excuse to to not continue their journey toward being fit, to continue their journey toward uh, being the best version of who they are. And it, it it's crazy because that's, that's the mindset that I think blocks people from being what they want to be in their fitness journey uh, because they don't prioritize themselves, right? They don't prioritize their own health. Um, their own fitness. Uh, they don't prioritize themselves, period, um, over everything else in life. So uh, we have no problem getting up um, the day after Christmas. For some of us, the day of Christmas, the day before Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving. We have no problem getting up on a Monday um, and going to somebody else to work for them Yet when it comes to ourselves, we won't apply that same discipline, that same commitment um, toward making ourselves better, toward giving back to ourselves. So we prioritize, in many cases, people that um, at the blink of an eye will lay us off, right? At the next cuts, um, may, may care for us um, at some level, but when it comes down to it, it's about business. And we will bust our humps and get out of bed and commit 40 plus hours a week to that person or that company, but won't do the same for ourselves. So the reason, or one reason why uh, I've been able to, to remain fit for 40 years, for what's up, Dub, for my whole life is because I prioritize me. I prioritize my health, my fitness. And many people who think, oh, it's easy for you because... It's part of your business. You know, being fit is your job. It has not always been my job. In fact, I've only been doing uh, fitness as a career for five years. Prior to that, I worked in corporate America. I worked at a job. And I've always, and people, if they want to chime in, people who have known me, who I've worked for or worked with, will tell you, I've always prioritized my fitness, my health, um, sometimes um, at the expense of people being upset at me or people being taken aback by it because I chose to work out instead of going to a lunch date with somebody at work. Uh, or I chose to work out instead of um, staying late at work and going to watch the game with some people. So, um, you know, or a meeting that people wanted to have over lunch, I would reschedule it or tell them, can we do it a different time? So if you want to be fit, and especially in this world, Right in the world we live in, you have to prioritize you. Right, if that means you have to structure your job such that you go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to lunch, and maybe work later on Tuesday and Thursday, that's what it is. If that means you have to get out of bed earlier in the morning to go work out before work, uh, and occasionally be, be uncomfortable or have your life be imperfect, then so be it. If you have to prepare your lunch or skip lunch or or do things um that that help you in your journey then you have to do those things but the step the first step is to commit to doing the things that make 
you better, that make you feel better, that help you in your journey. Because the world around us is not going to lay out um, the map for us, not going to lay out the structure for us. We have to create that ourselves. And that's the biggest difference. And we all do that. We all do things already that are uncomfortable, right? That require discipline, that require us to do things that we don't like doing, oftentimes that we hate doing, like a job. But we'll do that for somebody else, right? But when it comes to us, when it comes to getting up and going for a run or getting up to go work out or getting up to, to do a boot camp or, or fasting intermittently or, or eating our vegetables uh, four days a week and skipping, you know, whatever it is, or not going out for drinks on a certain day. All those things that we know we should do, we won't do those for ourselves, but we do all these things that we don't like doing for somebody else, right? For, for a job or for a boss or for uh, a friend or for a spouse or for whoever, right? And we have to do it for ourselves. We have to create ways to make ourselves committed to us, right? Because in our, in our current lives, in our current world, we don't have to do any of that stuff if we don't want to. If, as far as health and fitness, we can be unfit. We can, we, can, we can gain weight year upon year very, very easily because we don't have to work out. We don't have to eat healthy. We don't have to fast, right? Our lives are structured that make it enjoyable. Yes, make it enjoyable for us to do all these things, to have what we want to have, to be able to relax and enjoy food and enjoy relaxation and enjoy entertainment, but at the expense of our health. Right when you when you if, you if you if you backtrack, you know hundreds thousands of years to our ancestors, they had no choice but to be fit. They had no choice but to exercise. Right, they had to go and hunt or gather their food. I keep telling you guys this. They had to go down to the stream to get water. They had to carry their babies around. Right, they had to go hunt and kill their food, then prepare it. Right, they had to build their own houses. They had to wash their own clothes. Right? They had to create their own clothes. They had to do all these things that required work, that required the expenditure of fuel, of energy. Right, And we don't do hardly any of that anymore. We don't have, we don't have to do any of that anymore. Right? So we have to create gyms and ellipticals and treadmills to mimic what our ancestors had to do. Right? And we have to do that because we are in an, an advanced society now. And... That comes with many benefits. I get that, but it also comes with some detriments to our health and to our to our to our well being and to how we feel about ourselves. So we have to create um, and mimic what our ancestors had to do or required to do to survive. Right? Our ancestors could not eat twenty four seven. They had no choice but to fast. They had no choice but to eat raw and close to the source foods. Right? We have choices. Right. Some of which are very enjoyable, some of which taste very good. I get it. Right. But if we want to get back to to what our human bodies were meant to do, and that's be strong and, and productive and, and, and healthy, we have to be different than most people around us. Right. Who choose to just live for the moment, who choose to just enjoy everything around them, to sit on the couch and watch football like I was just doing, to sit on the couch and drink soda or beer or wine, whatever it is, and eat pastries and enjoy every moment of every day. If we want to be different than that and look better and feel better, we have to do different than that. Everybody wants to be different, but few of us are willing to do different. Right. So this holiday season is a perfect example Right. Where many people, most people around you, if they have been working out at all, are choosing to, 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 to do shopping, to go to dinners, to go to parties, to enjoy all the pastries, to relax and have fun, enjoy the bowl games and take this time to take 5, 10, 15, 25 steps back from their journey because it's that time of year. And I'm telling you that there's no time of the year that you should be willing to give up what you really want in life. Right. For for a momentary joy. Right. Because you'll have more time to do all that stuff. I promise you. Right. But we have to make sure that we treat ourselves as important as a party, as important as a, a meeting, as important as a job, as important as a as any other relationship in our, in our lives. Right. The relationship with your body is the most important one you have. 
And so if you don't treat that like you would treat a relationship with your spouse or your or your child or a close friend, then like those relationships, right, it's going to fail you when you when you most want it and most need it. All right. So that's the message. Right. So let's let's try to end this year strong. Right. Try to get a workout. in. if you're local in San Jose, uh, come to my workout uh, tomorrow. If you want to if you want to call in to a virtual workout, you can do that as well. Just let me know. I'll give you the information on signing up for virtual workouts you can do throughout the week um, and on weekends sometimes. Um, but, you know, try to get one more in. If not, let's start the next year, 2019, with a bang. And and let's commit to ourselves. Let's commit to, to pulling ourselves up the list of things that we are required to do, of commitments we have, right? The job, the family, all these things. Let's put us up there. Let's put our health and our well-being and our confidence and how we feel about who we are as individuals. Let's put, put that high on the list of priorities um, at the end of this year and going into next year. All right, guys. So if I don't talk to you guys before uh, New Year's Eve, um, Happy New Year. And again, if you want to start calling in and make a step toward being better um, and you're not local, um, ping me or send me a message. And we can connect about ways to call into our workouts virtually and get on the uh, UMC BTY family train and and continue to move forward, not backwards, um, and inspire people around you as I'm trying to inspire you guys. All right. Have a good day. Happy New Year. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.